Hi guys, so, um, hi guys, so today we will be going over what's gonna happen for third Guild Wars. Discord, going off of the Discord here, what they announced. So we're going to Dev Feet and we'll have to find it, but we're going off the Discord of where they put it. Also, who likes this new dragon right here? I think that looks so cool. That's gonna be the first PvP world dragon, so it might be, it might go up in value, you never know. So I would definitely try to get one of these. Um, not sure how they're gonna make it for you to get one of those, but I'm definitely gonna try to get one of those. Um, I also do not know what this dragon is. I definitely like the Grim Hatch preset though of it. I think that looks pretty cool. This might be a new Halloween dragon, but I'm not sure. Or actually, no, it's actually um that new event dragon is coming up. It's um, going to be part of uh, this right here, which I have no idea what this is going to be. I don't know what you're going to have to do for this. Oh, wait, never mind. Actually, never mind. I couldn't read it. Um, So, for this, basically, when this arrives, um, I think you're going to have to feed something and like get rewarded and stuff each time you feed whatever it is you have to feed the thing for it. This is apparently the next season dragon. It looks so cool, by the way. Love it. The artwork, the artwork that people do for dragon adventures is just insane. Love it. Love the artwork. It's just insane. Um, so about the Moxer on Gunstell returning for third Guild Wars. Yes, they are returning, but the Discord, we just don't know when. They are returning. Moxera and Constello will come back. It says, let me read this sentence right here, right here. Smoke, I don't know how to say it, Dragon's name, so I'm going to call it Smoke, will be our first and of hopefully several PvP World Dragons, PvP World Dragons, which is interesting. I'm not sure, like, if they'll go up or not. I'm not sure, like, how the PvP World is gonna work. Hopefully they go up, because that one, honestly, deserves to go up. It looks cool. It looks unique, honestly. I like the design. Like, dude, I love artwork that people have created for this game. Like, the, cons the Cosmolisk is insane. That is so cool. And this dragon right here, man, that's just perfect to make when you're gonna release the horse. And that is a perfect season dragon right here. This season dragon right here is perfect to be released with the horse in because it matches, like, the theme of, like, storm theme. So, that's perfect. Um, cannot wait till this comes out. This actually should have been in the game a while ago, but they haven't even brought it out because I don't think they thought of the idea until now. So that's good that that's coming out. But um, yeah, let's read the thing about right here. Let's read this. So smoke will be our first of hopefully several PvP world and dragons that will be obtainable in the PvP world. Not sure how they're gonna be uh make like I'm not sure how it's gonna be if you can do it. In a private server or not. I'm not sure. Hopefully you can. But if not then it's going to be probably a little difficult. I'm not sure though. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so. First will be attainable in the PvP world. Instead of through the Guild War system. Like Moxera or Constello. And this is when. This is um, the spot. I'm going to read the rest of this. I'm not going to say anything else. Like Mox or Orkansella. Planning to release. Okay. It says release. So that means they're coming back. Several. Before and after the PvP world update. What several before and after means. It means it could release. Before. PvP world update. Or after the PvP world update. Keep an eye out. On the space for more dragon announcements as we get closer. So what that is saying is Moxera and Constello will either release like the third Guild Wars will either be starting before PvP World Update or after PvP World Update. I honestly generally think that they should do it after 
but like not straight away so people can actually get a break from doing pvp world unless it's permanent then they can just release the third guild wars instantly but i'm not sure if they're just gonna make it permanent it sounds like it might be permanent but I'm not sure, so yeah, that is the update. If the Moxero and Constello is coming back, is coming back, so I suggest if like anyone has like a like a FM DBL Mox or a Moxero or a FM DBL Constello or full mod or themed of both dragons, like basically full mods, <laughs> FM DBLs or themes of both dragons, I would sell them right now. Like, I wouldn't keep them in your inventory. I would sell them right now for the amount of coins that they are worth right now. Because then, if Moxero and Constell Mox one day come back, if they drop and never go back up, you'll be able to buy m multiple of them. So, that's why, like, if you like Moxero and you sell, let's say you had a themed one in your inventory, and you sell for, like, um... For like what's a, like a random number to say like seven million you'll be able to buy like more than one if when the moxero comes back if it drops after it leaves like if it stays dropped like if it dro well if it drops I, I think it will drop this time but i don't know if it'll stay dropped Th that's the thing the reason why moxero is like so overrated in my opinion is because it's a cat and it makes cat sounds and it's a cat with wings. And it's fluffy. Those are the four reasons why I think it got overpriced. Well, overrated. That's just my opinion on that. Um, and I'm not gonna lie. The Moxera is cute. Okay. I'll say that. Personally, it is cute. Um, I just don't think it should have been overrated as high as it was. At the start and after second the Guild Wars, I don't think it should have been really up that high. But I understand why, because of like it being a cat and it purrs, like when it roars, like roars, it sounds like it purrs like a cat. And it's a cat with wings and it's fluffy, like it looks fluffy. Like I can get why it got overrated. I just don't think it should have gotten overrated that much because let me um just be honest here about the Moxera and some of you guys might disagree with this but let me just be honest um I don't really think it's that detailed enough um well the reason why I say that is because they could have added like whiskers to it. I don't really think if they add, I don't think they add whiskers unless they did. And I never noticed, but I mean they could have added like added like other cat features to the mocks. Like they could have added like like a few more details. In my opinion, it looks good right now. I just feel like it needs a little more detail. So like let's look up the Moxero. Okay, let's look up Moxero. And, like, I'm going to basically go over that dragon right now. That's why I want to look it up. So, this is my Roblox profile. Don't mind that. Let's go here and look up Moxero. Do not mind what I've been looking up. I'm doing research. I do research about things. Let's look up Moxero though. See, they didn't add whiskers. I feel like if they added whiskers, that would made it look a little bit more cat-like. Because cats have whiskers. It's just a plain face. Like, there's no whiskers. And I also feel like it should have had some type of cat ears. And they put horns. I mean, I know it's a dragon, but I feel like the one thing that sh they should have, have definitely added was whiskers. And, like, the way it flies, I mean, I guess that's cute. I mean, I guess the flying animation is pretty cute for the mocks, but I just feel like it should have had whiskers. 
I like what they picked for default colors. I think the default colors for the monster is perfect. It kind of brings a little bit more of the details better and makes it look like a, like a black and gray cat or whatever. But I feel like they should have had whiskers. Like, that's the one thing. Like, Moxera is like a cat-based dragon. They should have had whiskers. It would have made a little bit more sense. But then, I mean, also with the Orango, they could have had whiskers to the Orango, but, like, that's a bunny. So, like, I, I mean, yeah, some bunnies have whiskers, but not all of them. But, like, I just feel like the Moxera just should have had whiskers. And they didn't put whiskers. So... If I was to redesign the Mox Hero, I would keep its same designs on its model already, but I'll just add whiskers. Like, it needs whiskers. I mean, yeah, you can... I mean, if you would... I don't know if people would do this or not. People, some people might cut their cat whiskers off of their cat pet, like, pet cats. I'm not sure if some people do it, but some people accidentally do it if you, like, shave their fur or something. But I just feel like the mocks are well, should have had whiskers. I like the mocks. I'm not gonna lie. But I just feel like it should have had whiskers. Because, like, it's a cat based dragon. I just feel like it should have had whiskers. Let me just be honest. So, and then let's talk about Constello here. Let's look up Constello now. So here's the Constello. This one, honestly, I kind of like a little bit better than Mox just because it's more detailed and it looks like an actual like, dragon and it's not animal based. But a lot of people don't really like Constello. I don't think it will actually go up after the next Guild Wars just because it wasn't really liked when it first came out. It took like a few months for people to start wanting Constellos like before took a few months for its value to, like, skyrocket. So, I don't really see this one going back up in value after Guild Wars. But, I do kind of see the mocks possibly going back up. If it does, that's insane. But, it might not. There's a possibility that it might not go up. It might go up, but then it might not go up. So, it all depends on, like... Okay, well, let's just make this clear. Like, everyone thought the cast Ceres wasn't gonna come back, and, like, everyone thought, like, it was gonna go back up, like, super fast. Cast is still, like, 300 to 500k right now. And it hasn't changed, and it's been... I know it's only been, like, a few weeks since Solstice came out. It's been, like... I think... It's been, like, two weeks since Solstice left. I get it. But, like... Wouldn't you think Casters would have went up to like 600 to 700k in two weeks if it was going up still? Like, I just feel like it would have went up to like 600, 700k by now. Um, which I have 10 Casters in my inventory, by the way. But I got them from like being crazy and just trading for Casters because I wanted to make a wolf army and now I have a wolf army of 10 casts. I have a whole pack, like, literally, I have a whole pack of casts in my inventory. But, um, yeah, I just feel like the Moxero could have used Whiskers. The Constello, it's cool. Yeah, they brought it out because of, like, Const- They brought it out to make it all galaxy-themed, which I think is cool. Um, and also, now let's look up the Vidraki. I just feel like looking up the Vidraki now I mentioned, like, cooler dragons. Let's look up the VEI. This dragon is the very first season dragon. That's why it's rated. Which makes sense. It also hasn't came back in a long time. It might come back for PvP World. I'm not sure. They didn't really say how it was going to come back. But I have a feeling, like... Since they want to make it hard to get, I feel like it might come back for PvP World. But the Vidraki is nice. I like its design. I like the design. I just don't get, like, why it's, like, so overrated. Like, I get why 
somehow why it's overrated. I just don't get why it's like super duper duper overrated. Like I don't get why it sells for almost a hundred million points. Like I think that's just a little too much for a dragon that has a possibility of returning again. I said possibility. Which they might bring it back. They just have to figure out how they're going to bring it back. But it still has the potential slash possibility of returning. So even if the Vajraki returns, since it sells for like 45 to 60 million right now, it probably would only drop to 10 million. I mean, just be honest. It probably would only drop to like 5 to 10 million. So it would still be pretty high in value. Or. It all depends, though, on how many people get it, yes, but I still feel like it'll still be pretty high in value since of how much it sells for right now. It'd probably take, like, another year of it coming out if it comes back this year sometime, or next year sometime. It'd probably take, like, another whole year for it to drop, like, very low because of how high it sells for, like, at the moment. Which, don't get me wrong, the Vajraki is nice, I just don't agree with the community of um, pricing it for as high as the community did. Because I feel it's the community's, um, like, choice if they want to overprice a dragon for, like, super high value or super low value. It's the community's choice, supply choice, supply and demand. Well, not demand, more like community choice and supply of how many exists which apparently a lot of directives exist this is a cool picture of cast serves I do not know why they never use that that looks cool uh, this is a pretty one of Rango this is the one from like t- last year yeah this is the one from last year so that was nice that one actually was nice I love that picture I really want them to use this again, just because of how nice it looks. I like it a lot. Um, the Moxeros is sick too, but honestly, I like the cast series is a little bit better because it looks like it's like looking off of a cliff or something. But yeah, that's basically what I wanted to go over. Mainly was the Mox and Constello if they were coming back or not. Are they coming back? The answer is yes. Okay, it's just yes. Mox and Constell are returning. It's a straight out yes. So, hopefully, you guys don't get mad if you ever, if, like, the Mox and Constell come back. Eventually, the Drecky will too, but they just don't know when. They just don't know how they're gonna bring it back, mainly. But yes, Mox and Constell is coming back. Based off what I read off in the Discord, it's coming back. So, I would make a dragon for the game, but I'm not an artist. I'm not good at art. I never was good at art, so I wouldn't even know like how to start, so to say. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you pl- if you do, please um smash that like button, subscribe. Please enter the giveaway for the 8 Soul Horizons. It's still going on. I just have to figure out, like, which day it's going to end. But I don't have many entries yet. So, it's probably going to be going on still for a few more days. So, please enter that. I really love giving away dragons to people. It makes me happy because it makes some people's days. So, please enter the giveaway for the 8 Soul Horizons. There's going to be 8 winners. So, 8 people will be able to get one. So, there's, like, high chance of winning one. Because there's eight of them that's going to be given away. Um, so, yeah. So, please enter the giveaway of my last video. And um, have a great day. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Have a great day. Bye, YT.